I moved to Australia when I was eight years old. I came from Macedonia and that's when soccer really took over because it's something new to do and I don't know, over here they take it a bit more serious. So I became playing professionally for a young club and just moved on throughout the games. And luckily I was fortunate enough to get into a couple of scholarship programs and improve myself. We train twice a week with our club and I train every day by myself because you gotta do it your you gotta do yourself mostly. You gotta train as hard as you can for as long as you can. You gotta put it in if you wanna get something out of it in the end of the day. Soccer had a large part to fit in when moving to Australian society because obviously my family loved it so I'd be seeing it on TV every day and once you start playing with clubs and teammates you just get a hype and once you're hooked, you're hooked. Balancing soccer and school commitments is a bit challenging at times because Obviously you want to train for as much as you can, but sometimes you've got to focus on other things such as studying. So sometimes you do have to make sacrifices, but at the end of the day you've got to do what you love. My family plays a big role in supporting me for soccer. My dad is pretty much my biggest support. He comes to every game, he's the biggest fan there and you can hear him out of everyone. My family life is a bit traditional. Obviously I have to follow my Macedonian heritage and it does play a big role, like such as eating occasions and having Easter two weeks later, but it's a good thing because you get a variety of having Christmas in Australia on normal dates and then having your own two weeks after, so you get a good part of both. My plans for the future are, well this year, finish off the season for Olympic and hopefully get a scholarship, but at the start of January I plan to be moving to England for a 10 week scholarship and it's a training program where you play train and obviously you get scouting opportunities. So I'm looking forward to that at the end of the year, so I've got to train every day to make sure I'm ready for that opportunity. Obviously one to play for the Socceroos, uh, be one at a higher level and just move on to somewhere where it's a higher level. Obviously you want to be the best you can and if you want to be the best you've got to move to the best.